Hello guys, welcome to episode 4 of my England Under 20s experiment where I've put the whole England Under 20 team from this summer's World Cup into one Premier League team. I've given that club a 10 year transfer embargo to see how they get on over that 10 year period. And that team I've chosen is Stoke. So let's go and have a look at the story so far. If you haven't seen the story yet, go back, watch the previous three episodes see it all in a bit more depth but if we just have a very quick look at how they have been getting on if we just go to their competition history overview so we started off we started off there in the 16-17 season they finished bottom of the table very rubbish that year they did i think they won two games something like that they were very very poor and then they followed that up with a season in the championship where they finished 21st just barely surviving barely avoiding two relegations in a row and then the following year they had a bit of a revival bit of a resurgence they finished ninth in the league that year i thought this is where they're going to start bouncing back they might get back in the premiership in a couple of years but since then it's been another couple of poor years they finished 20th in the championship two seasons ago now very poor season again and then they followed that up with a 22nd place finish and relegation from the championship and so if we just have a quick look at the league one table you can see it up there but we'll just have a look at it in a bit more depth they did finish 21st in league one so they've been relegated again so that's what three relegations in six years so far in this experiment be very interesting to see how they get on in league two and so as you can see there they won 13 games drew 14 lost 19 this year in fact they only got relegated by the matter of two goals so very disappointing for them but i do imagine they should pop right back up next season but that's what i said when they fell out of the premiership so we'll see how they get on and so that's where i'm going to leave it for a second lads i'll be back with you at the end of the 2022 2023 season see you guys in a minute hello guys we're back let's go and have a look see how stoke have got on in their first season in league two let's see if they managed to get themselves promoted or what and wow oh, as you can see there they've finished second in the table just behind cambridge just missing out on the league title by three points decent little season for them there they've won 22 games they've drawn 11 they've lost 13 so i'd say that's a good season for them maybe now this is the spring pad for them to jump back up through the leagues if we just go and have a look at their players just go and have a look who's had the best season by average rating and goals and all that fun stuff their top scorer and their player with the highest rating is somebody who's not actually english quite ironically for this experiment it's a guy by the name of nicholas jokalainen he came into the team a couple of years back i believe they got him in, in on a free and he looks decent he scored what 17 goals in the league with two assists uh, with an average rating of 7.01 can't really moan too much with that can you well let's see how the english players have been getting on the next highest rating is sam livesey the central defender or the central midfielder sorry 20 years old he's a region coming to the club 17 passing 12 decisions 14 aggression and he's had it he's had a decent season 15 appearances couple of goals three assists average rating of 6.91 quite happy with that maybe that is proving that the stokes focus on youth is trying to help and is trying to start developing decent players now the next guy down on the list is Ezri konza 25 years old he looks fairly decent valued at 1.3 million played 41 games in the league seven goals 6.89 average rating very happy with that and just have a look at a couple more and then we'll have a look at the schedule and how they got on with results and all that fun stuff uh, let's have a look at dominic selanke surprised he's still there to be honest 25 years old he's obviously declared to play for nigeria because well he's, he's never going to get in the england team now is he but he's valued at two million he's played in 46 league games 13 goals seven assists one from the penalty spot and 6.78 average rating 
he's still looking fairly decent. Maybe I might pick him up for a lower end championship team, but I don't think he's premiership quality now. I think he's been ruined by all these relegations. And so let's have a look at let's have a look at Lookman. 3.1 million, 25 years old, 44 appearances in the league this year, seven goals, five assists, average rating is 6.77. He still looks good. How none of the, how none of the Premier League teams have come to have a look at him. I'm not sure. He's got good acceleration, good agility, good pace, and he's just about getting into his prime. I would be surprised if he's here become the end of this experiment or even the end of next season. And so, let's see if there's anyone else we fancy having a look at. Let's have a look at Dean Henderson. How many games has he played? 46 in the league, conceded 55, but got 10 clean seats. I'm, I'm quite happy with that. I, I would not be complaining too much if I was the Stoke manager. And actually, let's go and have a look at the schedule. And then we'll go have a look, see what their facilities are like. See if they're still up to top notch or if they've had to be downgraded through the years. So let's just get rid of Championship and League One because well, we're not in them no more. And they'll check a trade nonsense. And so you can see there, they started the season awfully, I think you can say. Drew with Notts County. Beat Forest Green, drew with Stevenage, lost to Bury and Northampton, but then after that things started improving. They lost to Cambridge, but they beat Fleetwood, Port Vale, Morecambe, Carlisle, and Barnet. And so since that Cambridge game, they did go on a decent little run: three, six, seven games without losing. And then they hit a bit of a rough patch there. But I think you can see what the problem is. When they've lost one game, they've tended to go on a bit of a bad run for the next couple of games after that. But towards the end of the season, they did okay. And I think judging by them sort of results, they do deserve to be going back up. Let's just see how they got on in the checker trade nonsense just out of interest. They got eliminated in the group stages. Still don't get that in the checker trade nonsense, how hey, there's penalties to, to, to decide drawn games. Just don't understand that at all. And so, just out of interest, just have a look at the FA Cup. Did they get very far in that? Nope, they lost in the first round to Colchester. Disappointing result there for them. And an EFL Cup, same again, they lost to Forest. So they've done nothing in the Cups, but their main objective to get back out of League 2 has been achieved. And so let's go have a look at the facilities. Pitch, condi pitch condition is perfect. Very happy with that. Corporate facilities, good corporate facilities, and the training and the youth are still looking superb. So just go and have a look at the under-18s, see if there's anybody there who's looking decent. And highest rated player in the under-18s is Clint Thomas, 16 years old, valued at only 10k. But he looks, oh, uh, he looks alright, he looks decent. I think he might be okay going forward. And um, we've got Ken Elsham, who's 17 years old. No technicals whatsoever. That is poor. I would want a bit more for my regions at this stage. And who else should we have a look at? Peter Kane, why not? 17 years old, pretty much the same story. I don't think we're going to find anybody looking too much better than that in their under-18s. Let's just go have a look at the under-23s. See if there's anybody there. Let's go by goals. Robbie Craddock, he's a central defender apparently, but he's scored quite a few goals. He looks okay, 17 years old, decent aggression, very brave, decent tackling. I think given the right mentoring and the right management, he could turn into something. And next one, Lewis Barry, also scored six goals, 18 years old, obviously declared to play for Ireland, valued at seven and a quarter K. Again, looks decent. Free kick taking's good. He's determined, which will help with his development. His teamwork looks good. And so, I think that's where I'm going to leave it for the second lads. If there's anything else you want to see, let me know down in the comments section down below. And I'm going to skip forward another year. So we'll see how Stoke get on back in League One in the 2023-2024 season. Hello guys, we're back, and as you can see, it's the end of the season, Stoke's first one back in League One, and as it turns out, it's going to be their only season in League One. 
They've been relegated again, finishing in 23rd place, only winning 8 games all year, 10 off safety. Very disappointing season for them. Is this sort of their level now, where they're just sort of going to yo-yo between League 1 and League 2? Let's go and have a look at their players, see who's still there, see if anybody else is left. So if we go by the average rating, yeah, their best player is again the foreigner, Nicholas Jakalainen, who now, 24 years of age, is looking decent. I don't mind him. I would take him for a championship team, something like that. I would take him. So he's been their best player. But I think, just looking down the list, I think all the main players from the start have now left. If we just go to transfers, and transfer history. Out of the club, yeah, Lookman has gone, as has Kyle Walker-Peters. They've both left to go to Sunderland for a combined, what's that, four, six, but just over eight million, I think that is. For a combined total of that, Sunderland have got themselves a good bargain there. And Lookman, he's played seven games in the Championship, average rating is 6.7. Can't moan too much of that, I think he'll be doing better for them next year. And Kyle Walker-Peters has played 26 games with four off the bench and 6.6 .6 average rating. Again, not terrible, not awful, but again, not brilliant. And who else has left? Dominic Solanke, he's gone for 3.1 to Swansea. And so, mm, done okay. Seven starts, seven subs, only the one goal. So a bit disappointing, I think you would say. But if we go back to last season as well, Nobody really of note leaving then. And before that, I think we looked at that in the last episode. So I think, if I'm not mistaken, let's go back to the squad. And that is everybody pretty much, well, apart from Dean Henderson, he's still there. But he looks dreadful. He looks awful for a 27-year-old keeper. Uh, Kieran Dow, I believe he was there from the start. He looks decent. I think he's going to be the next one to go, possibly this summer. And is there anybody else who, whose name just jumps off at me? Don't think so. Josh Wilson? No. He's a 19-year-old he's a regen keeper. Looks okay. Looks like he could be decent in a few years. And other than that, I think that is everybody who started there. I think Sam Livesey? No, he's the regen, isn't he? He's the one who looks dreadful but keeps on getting decent stats. And so... I think with that said, let's just go have a very quick look at the schedule, see how they got on. Oh, they lost, then they beat Southend in the Cup, sorry. Then they lost to Wolves in the second round of the EFL Cup. What about the FA Cup? Uh, drew with Mansfield and then lost to Mansfield in the replay. So disappointing all round for them. And let's go League One and just look at that for a start. What's that? One, two... Well, the first two games against two of my previous teams on YouTube, Gillingham and Brentford, drew both of them. But then they went one, two, three, four, five, six games before picking up a win. And then they managed to go three games without losing. But then again, oh my gosh, what kind of run is this? Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen games without a win. And that is where the problem is. Those 13 games have seen them relegated. And while they have been just dreadful all year. Let's go and have one more look at the old regens and who's coming through the club. Best rating again is Kyle Wardle. 16 years old. Looks okay, doesn't he? Doesn't look amazing. Uh, anybody else? Stuart Rayner. Again. We've got a little bit of a weird Elvis is haircut there, I think you could say. And again, poor. Um, under 23s. Let's see about these. Let's go by goals again in this one. Greg Bradbury, 18 year old English regen. Uh, striker, but nine finishing. You would want better than that. Don't think we're going to get anybody looking too amazing. Lewis Barry, 19 years old. £200 a week. Again, I think the whole point of this experiment was to see if Stoke would bring through any decent youngsters. And I don't think they have. I can't see them getting back up 
towards the Premiership or even a Championship at this rate. And so, well, Billy Ward, look at him. He looks like a mean fella, doesn't he? Wow. And let's have a look at his aggression. Aggression of eight? Are you sure? I think it should be at least double that with a face like that. Christ. On that scary note, that's where we're going to leave it for now, lads. Hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please give me a thumbs up. And if you've enjoyed the series, please subscribe to the channel. I'll be back next week with the fifth and final part of this experiment. Can Stoke get themselves back out of League 2 and back into League 1? Let's see. Let's see what we'll do. We'll find all that out next week. And for all the news about this series, about my journeyman save, where I'm currently with Borussia Mönchengladbach, seven seasons in. If you want to go watch that, please do. It's getting good numbers now. So if you can all go watch that, please do. And also, follow me on Twitter. I've got some really exciting news coming out in the next couple of weeks. So keep your eyes peeled to that. And so, as ever, I am Bad Jokes FM. I am out.